Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Aziza. I'm reading today for the sign of Scorpio for love and relationship for the month of October I don't know, they are talking about someone from your past is married already. Or it could be like, you know, in a relationship already. You might be really thinking about someone from your past, someone who came in uh, on your mind, like you had a relationship before, long time ago, and you wanted to see if you can really like, you know, do better in that relationship. Maybe that relationship was good and you lost it or you acted certain way. It says here, everything is meant to be. So you did not lose anything, but you need to avoid jealousy at this time because there is a current relationship that you are in right now. And I get here that this person feel that you are on edge sometimes and you show your jealousy and they don't want you to do that because they love you. They care for you a lot and they want to continue with you. I get here, they find like, you know, that there is a balance between you and that person. You become like, you know, really more obsessed with the idea that you want to get married right now, right now. And I get here, you worry if this person is buying their time with you and they are not going to be really like, you know, giving you what you want. And I get here that there is a female or if you are a female, there is a female like, you know, is worrying you a lot. He, she might be talking to your person and is worrying you so much and it's like why they are still talking or they left that relationship long time ago, why they are still dealing with each other. It's really eating you alive or annoying you. I don't blame you. Even if you are male, it could be like, you know, really another male. Um, your person is really trying to develop, like, you know, really good for you to, like, you know, the time, the place, the space. And I get here that they believe that you become stubborn. You are not listening to too many things. You are confident most of the time. You have a great connection with your person. You want them. You love them. You care for them a lot but you want them to listen to you right now. Like they adore you, they care for you a lot, they want you, but you feel like you know, sometimes you have to push the situation to happen. You have to push things. And I get here that you are really like, you know, happy with the amount of money that you have, becoming like you know, financially secure, you have money. And I get here that, but you keep being disappointed. <laughs> Just be happy of what you have at this time. You feel like you know, sometimes you want to stop the relationship. You want to block that person. You want to walk away from them because you are like not looking at what this person is offering. You want them to offer you more. I agree with you, but um, it looks to me that you and your person had a talk and you liked it. You agreed with it. But now you are coming to your son. Hey, wait a minute your sense. Why I had to agree with this? You know what? He or she should really like, you know, just do something more. Why I'm obligated for all the bills, everything, everything, and this person is not really doing much on their term. And I get here, you worry about this person. Suddenly they stop on you and they're going to be really like, you know, connecting with the other person. And, and you are like, I'm not agreeing. At that time when that person like, you know, talk to you and discuss something with you, you should not agree immediately because now you change your mind. Um, it's like there is a person who wants to come closer, wants to marry you, wants to propose, but they keep worrying about your parents. They don't trust the parents around you. They don't trust like, you know, maybe one of your children too. They want to be really having their freedom. They want you to listen to him or her without actually acknowledging the parents. 
Hmm. Hmm. Why? They want you to take your own decision not to listen to the parents. Hmm. Not sure where they are coming from, but they want you to have your own decision that in their mentality and to you, your parents, your parents' opinion and agreement on the marriage or the relationship is very important, of course. This parents, person like, you know, love you, cares for you a lot and wants you to be with them, but they want you to be really like, you know, that the wife or the husband and care for you a lot. It's like, it's important to him or her, their parents. But when it comes to your parents, you don't have to listen to them. Listen to me. I'm not sure where this person is coming from because it has to be equal, you know. Of course, your parents' opinion and not opinion, I'm not talking about that, like agreement. For some cultures, you know, you have to listen to the parents. It's really important. Um, this person can become like, you know, really disappointed with you when you confront him or her, like, you know, that they don't want you to ask any questions. They want you to go with the flow. Like, you are very smart and you are like, okay, what you are saying is not making any sense to me. Hmm. And you ask questions. The person become too disappointed. Like, why you ask me questions? Why you confront me? Why you don't trust me? If you don't trust me, I don't trust other people around you too. I get here, the person in relationship, I get here that he or she want to separate you from your area to another area, to their area, so they can really like, you know, just manage to have their time, their life, their love to you freely without that pushing so hard into the marriage situation. This person want to marry you and they are agreeing on it. You want the marriage too. And they said like, you know, that they want to marry you and it's coming. But right this minute or that, right this time, like, you know, okay, I don't have to do it. We don't have to do it now. Why you don't just come and move near me or with me so we can be really just together? And you are like... Because I get here, like, you know, for some Scorpios, they want their partner to move in with them so badly, okay? For some of you that you don't want to be really moving in with this person unless they commit to you in marriage because it's important to you, your parents, how they are looking at the situation. And it feels to you like you know, it's important. It depends on the culture you are in. You are kind of like in a conflict between you two at this time. You don't want your, your person like you know, to be talking to others or flirting with others or chatting with other people because you have the wrong idea and you think that they are either you are losing them or they might be really cheating or flirting with other people or they don't want to be with you. The conflict mostly like you know, either marriage or not. And for some of you, I get here that you feel that this person is not really making sense why they want to be married and everything and they are not really doing it na right now. Like, you know, just, you're shocked, like, you know, about too many things. You are protective over your person. You want to destroy everything and walk away, but I don't see you doing it. Like, you know, you feel like, you know, your person come across so, so dashing into the unknown and say, I want to be with you and I want you and I love you. I want to marry you. Then suddenly they become like, you know, like someone from the past that they are not changing. They start really to get to their own habit from the past and you are not really, sh they are not showing you that they are very interested. It says here, they push you around, you push them around, you push them to be with you, to make business with you, to be really like, you know, responsible there. And they become like, you no know, really, Feeling that you are not listening, you might be stubborn. Now it's not the right timing. Now they need to focus on something else. And it's just like you are, you are not sure where is your person coming from. 
your person is kind of like, okay, we love each other, that's important. And you are like, yeah, I know it is important, but uh, what about like, you know, the whole deal? Like, you know, I want a settle down and relationship. Like, you know, this is when you are coming like in a conflict. Like, you know, I'm not understanding my person. I'm confused. What, what they are trying to do? Are they trying to be with me or they are just buying time for to be just intimate with me, for example? You want the whole thing and that person is showing you different type of interest. And you are like, no, what? What is it? This person definitely, I get here that they, they go on the internet, they chat on the internet, but it looks to me that they are looking for businesses. Ah, business, bitcoins, money, situation, exchange like new currency, something like that. And you think that, you know, this person is chatting on the internet day and night. What I'm getting from the whole picture is really there is a misunderstanding, but I am not really getting why this person is not really like, you know, coming across to be 100% married to you right now. They feel like, you know, that, okay, I'm waiting on some money. I need to be responsible. I don't want to be sitting relying on you financially. It's important. It's important for some people, but you are taking it in a wrong way that they are stalling the time. They don't want to do anything about it because they don't want to get married or something. That's your understanding, but it's not. Okay. Dear Scorpio, I hope you enjoy the reading. And if you need a private reading, please contact me. And the link for my website is below this video. Um, after you click on reading prices, purchase your reading, then give me a call. And the phone number is listed on my website. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.